All right, supporters, allies, and opponents. We're gonna start with our supporters, people that might help. Primarily, we might be targeting university activists who grew up in the area. Uh, we know that they've got some time to burn and that they might be uh, easy to mobilize around the issue. We might target local parents, you know, 20 to 40 years old, recently had a kid, and very invested in education outcomes for their children. Now we're just kind of spitballing ideas. We might be able to find a whole bunch of like uh, fathers at the local pub who like hang out together and play darts or something. Um, you know, it seems kind of crazy to put up posters at a pub, but maybe it'll work. And lastly, if we can find like a celebrity or two, like a, a radio celebrity or local TV celebrity that lives in the area, they'll add some credibility. Next out, allies is like the organizations that have a vested interest in our cause. You know, this is like the local cricket club, the local council, maybe the local newspaper, or the church. Lastly, our opponents. In our example, there are two obvious ones. Obviously, we'll have to research this more, but the conservative government will prefer to widen roads than invest in schools, so they've got like budget allocation issues. Whereas there might be other nearby schools who have principals that don't want funding diverted away from their schools to ours. So, if we're really lucky, we might be able to get those principles on side by proving to them that we're not going to take their funding away. And with the conservative government who just want to build roads, it's anyone's guess. Now we get one more box in that strategy filled out. We're going to like collapse all of our supporters into like a simple sentence and throw it in the top. Because we've got parents, students and people in the area, we'd say local parents and students in Fitzroy. Next up is the actually exciting bit, tactics and timeline. 